Oh my gosh, look at this hobo hair. Who thought you'd ever see me with hair like this before? <laughs> not this guy, not this guy, I tell ya. But look at my hair, look what I've done to it. All right, let's actually get back to the point. Welcome back to myself, I guess. What's going on, guys? I hope you're glad to see me if you haven't been watching my vlogs and stuff. Here's my face, look at my face, here's my face. What's up? We're gonna do a review for those that came for the review. Those of you that have been watching for a while and wanna hear more stuff, you can listen at the end of this or whatever. Let's get to the review. Red Dawn was released on November 21st, 2012. This was a remake, this movie was a remake. It was, this is not the original movie. You like how I did that hair flip right there? Look at that, look at it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this was a remake, and I'm going to tell you straight up front. I am reviewing this movie from the perspective of someone that has not seen the original. So, this is my point of view from... I, I'm not somebody that saw the original and is comparing it in that way. I'm comparing it as, if you've never seen the original, you don't know what to compare it to, you don't know what to expect from it, you just went to go see the movie. That's my view. This is what I'm giving you as far as what I thought from that perspective. That being said... I was very impressed by this movie. Number one, I felt like I got my money's worth, which I haven't done, f walked out of the theater feeling in that way for I don't even know how long. Every time I walk out of the movie and spend $15 for a freaking movie, I feel like I got ripped off. I hope everyone else probably feels the same way, but you know what happens. You know, see, that's why people bootleg things, man. You can watch a movie, same movie, in the comfort of your own home for free, with the, the snack of your choice that you don't have to smuggle in between your butt cheeks to get in there with as many people as you want and you don't have to drive nowhere. Instead of sitting in a theater, sharing a nasty, grimy theater with a bunch of other people making comments and noise on a movie that you're trying to enjoy by yourself. You understand what I'm saying? That's why it happens. But I will say this. I am a businessman myself, per se. I know why prices go up and down, but I'm, I just thought that was a funny joke and I wanted to put that in there. But I'm not bashing people. You know, your prices are what you want your prices to be, man. Mark it up as much as you want if people still pay it. Good on you for making that much more profit. That's all I gotta say. Next up, I did feel like I got my money's worth. Finally, was very impressed. Finally, didn't fall asleep. Finally, and I had a. It was just it got me so pumped up at the end of that movie. I wanted to go friggin' knock someone out. I wanted to go shoot down some Japs. I wanted to. Okay, that's taking it a little bit too far. Being as the movie was about them, that's why I said that. But actually, it was Koreans. But you know, no, I'm 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 white. I would make white joke if someone wants to leave it in the comments. I'll say it in my next video. I don't care. I just. It doesn't bother me. If that offended you, calm your tits and you should probably leave. Casting. I am not about celebrities. I don't know who did what and what their name is. And I couldn't even tell you probably the t names of five celebrities if you asked me to in all honesty. Because I don't give a crap. I could care less. I don't care if they're... It doesn't matter to me. So I'm going to say I can't say that there's anyone else that I would put in place as those actors. Because I really don't care. It seemed like it flowed with the actors that they had. I think they did a good job. It was good to see that uh, Josh from Drake and Josh in another movie for once. I think he did a fairly good job, although he looks freaking weird now. I think he would have been better if he was fat in this movie, then he could have made more jokes. <laughs> Actually, seriously, I don't really know. He just looked weird. He just, to me, he looked weird. I don't know. But apparently all the girls like it, how he looks now and whatever, so good on them for using that, I guess. Just like the whole Channing Tatum, like, whatever. I guess they were like, oh, yeah, here's my titties, ah! Wow, this is getting a little graphic in this review already. As far as the special effects and all that stuff, it was done very well. Uh, typically, when I watch a movie, I find things a lot that they mess up on. Like, for instance, in the one of the Batman movies, the, actually the, the one with the Joker, when the Joker's hanging upside down, his collar's up in one scene, then it's down, then it's up, then it's down. Back and forth, things like that. Lord of the Rings, I've caught stuff before. I catch stuff on TV shows all the time. Friends, I couldn't count the amount of things I've caught wrong on that. So, you know, they have wearing different outfits and stuff sometimes. I like to catch things like that, and I don't really look for them intentionally, but I, sometimes I just ca they, they just jump out at me. I did not see any of those in this movie I, that I can remember. Uh, maybe I did see them and I just completely forgot because the epicness of this movie. But I did not catch those things, so good on them for that because there's a lot of movies that I've caught things in, even major movies, like I said, the Batman movies. There has been stuff that I've caught that they've screwed up on. Graphically and graphic effects and all that stuff, camera angles, all that things, was done very well. I don't think I would have really improved too much on it. I mean, I guess there's always room for improvement and stuff, but what they did didn't make it seem like you were distracted, didn't make like they, they did too many cuts or different weird cuts and things like that. And there was a major twist. The, the, in the middle of this movie, I thought the movie was wrapping up. It seemed like the movie was wrapping up. They kind of finished their thing. They were all good to go. And it, it was all happy and everyone's warm hearts and happy and hugs and kisses. And I was like, it's kind of short for the movie to be over already, man. I, that went really quick. And all of a sudden, you don't know what just happened, and it was, I can't, I'm not going to reveal it, because, I, look, I just got the chills, the goosebumps from thinking about it, of how, like, how pumped I'd be if that actually happened, or what, if that, if, I don't want to give it away, but holy crap, look for that twist, because 
that was a good one. They did a wonderful job at that. A last thing you would have expected. It crossed my mind for a split second. I was like, no way, that's not going to happen. It's done. They wrapped it up. And I was kind of disappointed if that was going to be the end. I was kind of like, eh, it was great, but it could have done more. Oh my gosh. They caught, it was, it was awesome. It was so great. I'm so happy that they put it in there. They did a great job with that. I was very, very impressed, very excited, and it just all around, it was a, they did a great job. There have been quite a few people who have said that the original was better. Again, I can't comment on that. Some people said, a lot of people actually heard were disappointed on this because the original was better. I don't know. I don't know. I can't compare it. I can't tell you. But again, from what I've seen, from someone who has not seen the original, or maybe even someone who has, I'm not really sure. But now that I heard that, though, if the original was better than this, I definitely need to go watch that. Uh, but either way, I really, I don't have any complaints as far as this movie goes. I think they did a good job. I think some of the things that they did was kind of, it was just kind of stupid as that, that, that unrealistic, I guess, in the way that people learn to shoot that quickly. Basically what happens is these kids wake up in, and they go outside and there's just random paratroopers, like thousands and thousands of paratroopers falling from the sky and planes dropping paratroopers everywhere in your city, outside of your home. And they were like, holy balls and wieners, I don't know what to do, what is going on, I'm going to get raped and die by a small Korean man. No, it, it didn't actually go that far, but it did, I mean, that's kind of was my little twist on the end of it. But really, it was just panic, utter panic throughout the city, it was crazy, and they didn't know what to do. And that was an awesome start. It kicked off with very, very quick action in the beginning. They had a little bit of an intro there, which was good. Gave you a little history, a background of the characters that were going to be involved and what happened and got you attached to him and it worked really well. They also did some very unexpected things as far as how characters exited the movie as well. Very well done. Most movies don't go that far that quickly, I guess. I, I don't want to reveal it. I don't want to reveal too much of the movie, but they did a lot of things that was kind of risky moves, but that worked very, very well. They followed through with it very well, and I was very happy and impressed with it. But again, the thing that I would complain about is they basically had kids from their neighborhood that had never really shot before, all of a sudden got armed with guns from one Marine guy who was like the big, oh, look at me, I'm a hot man, oh, follow me on my lead, Captain. And he just taught him how to shoot within like days or a week at most, and it, there's no one that's going to become an expert marksman like they were portraying within that short of a, that amount of time. Yes, someone can learn to shoot well in that amount of time, but I just don't... They're not going to be able to follow through in the tactics that they use and stuff. It's just not going to happen. In my, in my opinion, I don't know. Maybe if I took a week straight and just really worked on that and that's all I did... Maybe I could be. I don't know. I haven't tried it, but in my opinion, that was the only thing. I'm just trying to think of something to critique, and that's kind of what caught me... I was kind of like, Ugh, a little bit, yeah. And the other thing, the one kid was really an idiot who, let's say, well, something happened that I called out and guessed it right away, and they said it was something else. They said he got stabbed, and it was actually something different as far as what happened. Got raped. I'm just kidding. That's not, oh my gosh, guys, I am going too far with the jokes here. Really, that's not, he, basically, he got grabbed, they thought he got stabbed and they didn't investigate further and then it's got them screwed basically and you will find out if you watch the movie. I was impressed with it overall. I had a great time going there. I had fun watching it and I felt like I got my money's worth, which is always important. And I'm just glad that I went. I hope you guys will leave some comments and let me know what you guys thought of the movie if you have seen it or have not or if you are going to see it or if you're waiting to see it for the cheap theater or the DVD or the bootleg or whatever you do. Do your thing and let me know about it, because I'm interested to know with my hippie hair. i got nothing better to do than read comments all day. Clearly, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, though, that's pretty much the end of the review, and I am going to try to do some more reviews and things as that, and leave it in the comments of what other things you think I should do as far as anything relating to reviews, electronics, video game commentaries, video games, video game tutorials, computer tutorials, whatever the balls you want me to do and talk about and help you guys with, I want to do more of it. Sorry for this little bit of a plain background. My room's kind of a mess right now. I've been moving back and forth between states if you've watched my vlogs, things like that. Been a little hectic, been a little crazy. Thanks for watching. Be sure to rate it. Give me a comment. Share it. I think it was kind of, I was kind of funny, right? Was I funny enough to share? Come on, man. Do me a favor. Just hit the share button or just copy the URL and like put it on your Facebook or something. Either way, I think it was uh, whatever. I'm not going to toot my own horn, pitch my own tent, float my own boat. I'm just going to go to bed, man. See you later. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to see you later. TP-XO.
hearts, hugs, and kisses, and oh, shut up, man. Get out of here. Oh, freaking light.